Hey everybody, Nathan Ronan, CFA here with another update for CFA Level 1 candidates who took the CFA Level 1 exam in May 2024 and just got their results back today, but they didn't pass. If that's you, you probably want to listen to this uh, video that I'm posting. And if you'd like to do that and you'd like to hear my advice, please press the subscribe button now and the notifications bell so that you can continue to receive these updates as I post them on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Okay, well, the level one results came out for May 2024, and it was a 46% pass rate. Now, this is for the people that did not pass the exam and part of the 54% that didn't pass the exam. First of all, there's nothing to fret. Admittedly, and I'm going to be honest, 46% is a little bit higher than some of the past exams. It's not way over the top or anything like that. It wasn't like past 50% or anything like that. But 46% is, you know, more or less kind of a reasonable pass rate at level one. Much better than the 35, 36, or even 20, 20, 20 the 22% that we saw a little while back and even 25%. But 46% is a reasonable pass rate based on historical pass rates at level one. But it, that's no consolation to you. So now you're probably wondering, what should I do? Should I give up, move on with my life and realize it's all over? I don't really recommend that solution. Number two, should I regroup and take the exam again in 2024? Or should I leave it to 2025? Here's my recommendation to you. Before you just plop down money and pay the CFA Institute and make an impulsive decision, which isn't always the right decision, here's what you need to do. Okay, you need to think about it. You need to get over the fact that you didn't pass the exam. You probably put in a lot of hours, most of you. I mean, if you didn't put in a lot of hours and you know that you failed, then it's no surprise. But if you thought that you passed and you didn't, this can be a little bit disheartening as it always is for candidates when they don't get the result that they expect. But that shouldn't prevent you from getting the CFA designation or not moving on with your life with the CFA and completing the journey. What I would do is I would definitely work with me, Nathan Ronan. I am a charter holder. I passed level one. I passed level two. I passed level three. You could see the letters CFA after my name if you'd never had me before. But I will teach you how to pass the level one exam. And my recommendation to you is to take the exam in November of 2024, because you're gonna use the same curriculum, the same learning ecosystem, the same materials that you did when you took it in May. There's no changes, you can continue to do that. And then you'd subscribe with me, you'd re register or you know join me, sign up with me on my website at chalkandboard.org, that's C-H-A-L-K and A-N-D, board, B-O-A-R-D, that's chalkandboard.org, and get the, um, the bundle deal, which is a very reasonably priced alternative, uh, and it includes two mock exams. And the first thing we're going to do is you and I are going to sit down on Zoom and we're going to create a, a personal study plan for you to lay out for the next number of months until your exam in November, or if you decide February 2025, we'll do either one. Okay, and we're gonna and we're gonna lay out a plan into six phases. We're gonna break down what you need to do into each of those phases. We're going to talk about what's the time frame for each of those phases and how to get it done and how to integrate the CFA curriculum per the learning ecosystem along with my lecture videos. That's what you and I are going to do. You're going to have a strategy, you're going to have a focus, and you're going to have a structured plan in place. You're not going to be running around just watching videos or just constantly reading, 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 and getting bored and losing your marbles and trying to memorize everything. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach things to you in a holistic manner so that you can see how the program fits together. Because if you just took the May 2024 exam, you were probably shocked how many times they integrated material, learning outcome statements, readings, and topics together to formulate a question. They weren't just direct out of the book formulas and calculations, or just out of the book questions, or they weren't end of chapter questions. They were very different. They were a little bit more integrating the concepts. That's what I'm going to teach you how to do. That's the way I teach so that you could do that at level one, then at level two, level three, and get your charter. Don't fall for these little trick games of just reading prep books and being able to just go in there and ace the exam. 
Most candidates, didn't say all, but most candidates are not able to do that. So what I would do right now is I would decide whether I'm going to take it in uh, November 2024 or leave it to February 2025. Just realize that if you're going to go for February 2025, you're going to be some, subject to some changes in the curriculum. You're going to have a new curriculum. Not too dramatically different, but it's a totally up to you which one you do. I'll work with you for November 2024, which I, I think is an easier choice. I'm happy to gear up and work with you for February 2025. The, again, the programs are not that dramatically different, and it's up to you based on your time frame and what you want to do with your life. Maybe you want to take off a few months and just, you know, think about other stuff or do other stuff. That's fine. I respect that. But remember, you got the wheels in motion already. So probably November 2024 is going to be your better bet. But I can totally understand if you want to leave it to 2025. I'm available to you for either one. If you have any questions, you can reach out. Good luck in your decision. But again, I would recommend sticking with the current curriculum that you just used for 2024. Finish it off in November 2024 with me. And let's get you into level two and do uh, May 2025 for level two. That's my suggestion to you. Again, don't, don't fester over this and let this, you know, boil in your head that you didn't pass and that other people pass and you see it on LinkedIn or whatever. Don't worry about it. We'll get you through it on your next round. That's Chalk and Board and Nathan Ronan. We will do it together. Have a great day and I want to be your instructor. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Good luck.